Good evening, I'm Joy Lambert. And I'm Jeff Abel. We begin tonight with the city in crisis after an attempted armed robbery inside a Baltimore City synagogue. Police say it's one of three robberies they're probing on the city's northwest side. Fox 45's Dan Lamp Lamparello is live with more on the quick actions those inside the synagogue took. Dan. Luckily, that synagogue had just finished up its services for the evening, so there weren't too many people left inside. But those few people tell us when those armed robbers stepped inside, they stepped up and scared them off. In the city's northwest side, Baltimore's Jewish community startled by a string of robberies. Nothing in the city surprises me anymore. Police say it was around 7 last night when two men armed with a gun walked into the Kahal Kasadim synagogue and held up a man inside. Honestly, I don't think, I don't even know if they knew this was a synagogue. Heshi Klein says it was over in a matter of seconds after the victim jumped to defend himself. Dove at the guy, tried to swing the thing away and they ran away. Police say these are their two suspects caught on surveillance leaving the synagogue. I believe they're also responsible for two other armed robberies in the Park Heights area last night. You bad guys out there understand something. Jews in the neighborhood on Saturdays don't have any money. We don't carry money. You're wasting your time. But Klein says his congregation and neighborhood watch are remaining vigilant. I think more precautions than even three years ago, even four years ago, was unheard of. It's Things have escalated, unfortunately, and you got to be uh, proactive. Even as the suspects remain on the run. The crime bleeding out towards uh, other neighborhoods. So you deal with it the best you can and you move on. Luckily, there were no reported injuries in any of those armed robberies yesterday. But again, those suspects remain on the run. If you recognize them, you're asked to call Metro Crime Stoppers. We're live outside police headquarters tonight in downtown Baltimore. I'm Dan Lamparello for Fox 45 News.